Smith here from Renovate and Real Estate. Welcome to everybody who's in the Mums and Dads Renovators and Decorators group and whoever's joining me on YouTube. I can see my cat walking across the floor, so this might be disastrous. He'll probably pop up on my lap. All right, so I thought I'd talk today about when is revamping worth it? And the reason I'm going to mention that is because, just one second, I'll check that I'm on. Oh, there we go. Okay, is because a lot of people fall in love with the romance of renovating and renovating furniture and renovating old doors and keeping things like old windows and redoing things. So there's a time when it's worth it and a time when it's not. So what I'd like to say, first of all, is it is worth it if you have the time, you have a few weeks up your sleeve, so you don't have a builder waiting on you. Um, you don't have other tradies all lined up ready to go while you're fiddling around with something just to save a few dollars. So, you know, make sure that you have the time, that you've set aside the time. If it's something you can do in advance, even better. If you have the skill, if you're going to be really, really slow at it, it's probably best if you just leave it alone. Even the builder that's come here to talk about my latest renovation, there's so much I'd love to keep and revamp here. It's a beautifully built home from the 70s and there's a lot of key elements I would like to keep. But for speed, there is a lot that I'm determining are going to have to go in the skip bin. And I know it sounds wasteful, but in the end, it's time and it's money. And even though I love doing that kind of thing, it's probably not worth it for me in this circumstance. The other thing is when you're talking about the romance of property, make sure that when you're looking at a deal that revamping a property, it's going to be worth um more than it is in the first place. So the cost of the item itself, whether it be furniture or a property, and the cost of actually doing it, the amount of money and energy you're going to put into redoing it, make sure that it's actually worth more than, than you know, buying a new product or from where you started. So yeah, it, it is worth it, but it's only worth it when it's worth more. If you're talking about fixtures and fittings, yeah, you really don't wanna be holding anybody up because that's gonna cost you. Whatever you can do to help your tradies get to work and not interfere with their progress will benefit both of you. If they're charging you per hour, you do not want them waiting. If you can clear a renovation project out, like keep them on the go, then that's going to serve you very well. So please don't get caught up with the romance of revamping with making a property beautiful unless it's totally worth it because while you're spending time fiddling other opportunities might be passing you by so there you go oh the other thing is you don't need to practice <laughs> the numbers don't lie on a renovation pro project you don't need the practice you don't want to I it worries me when I hear people say I'm just going to practice on this property and I'll make money on my next deal I always say don't do that make money on your first deal thanks guys cheers and I will see you next week bye